guys, so I finally decided I was going to do the TBR um, bookshelf of shame tag that's been going around for a while. Um, I'm not going to do all of the books that I own that are I haven't read because that would take 50 years. For this video, I'm going to be focusing on this shelf, or at least most of this shelf. Um, this is where most of my TBR books lie. There are some middle grade books and stuff I haven't read on that shelf, but for all intents and purposes, this is like the majority of my TBRs of shame. And I will try to get a grand total at the end so everybody can be as, as scared as I am. The first one on my TBR shelf is Death Comes to Pemberley, a novel by P.D. James. The next one is The Hobbit by J.R.R. R. Tolkien. The next one is Oh My Gods by Tara Lynn Childs. The next one is The Espressologist by Christina Springer. Warm Bodies by Isaac Marion. An Ark of Talon by Julie Kagawa. The Dress Lodger by Sherry Holman. Jekyll Loves Hyde by Beth Fantaski. Great last name, by the way. Fable Haven Book One of the Fable Haven series by Brandon Mole. Graveminder by Melissa Marr. Serafina, book one of the Serafina series. And Shadow Scale, book two of the Serafina series that has not been released yet. It releases March 15th, and these are both by Rachel Hartman. Prophecy of the Sisters, book one. Circle of Fire, book three of the Prophecy of the Sisters trilogy by both by Michelle Zink. The Book Thief by Marcus Zuzak. Twist Rose Key by Joni Almgel. Birdwing by Rafe Martin. Martin. Ty the Modern Fairy Tale by Holly Black. Later Gator. TTFN. And TTYL. Three books, I'm not sure what the series is called, all by Lauren Miracle. 32 Third Graders and One Class Bunny. Life Lessons from Teaching by Philip Dunn. Phantom of the Opera. The original novel by Gaston Leroux. Your Skin by Robin McKinley. Blood and Chocolate by Annette Curtis Klaus. Crown Duel by Sherwood Smith. How Not to Spend Your Senior Year by Cameron Doki. Song of the Sparrow by Lisa Ann Sandal. Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. Princess Diaries and Princess in the Spotlight, the sequel, both by Meg Cabot. Glass Houses, The Morganville Vampires, Book One by Rachel Kane. Full Fell by Katherine Langrish. Life as We Knew It by Susan Beth Pfeiffer. Searching for Dragons and Calling on Dragons, books two and three, I believe, of the Patricia C. Reed fantasy series. I'm not sure what the series is called. Next, let me just move my bell over here. Keep on a company. The Eternal Ones by Kirsten Miller. Ithaca, a novel of the author of Troy by Adele Giraud. Great and Terrible Beauty and Rebel Angels, both by Libba Bray, books one and three of the Gemma, jo Gemma Doyle trilogy. Beautiful Dark by Jocelyn Davies. The Merc and Midnight Hour by Jane Nickerson. Chantress by Amy Butler Greenfield. Lovely in the Lost, um, the sequel to Beautiful and the Cursed by Paige Morgan. The Captive Maiden by Men Melanie Dickerson. The Fairest Beauty by Melanie Dickerson. And The Healer's Apprentice by Melanie Dickerson. The Rosie Project by Graeme Sim Simpson. Angel Eyes by Shannon Dittmore. In Front of God and Everybody, Confessions of April Grace by K.D. McCright. Voices of Dragons by Carrie Vaughn. Weekday by Wendy Mass. Infinite Days by Rebecca Maisel. Strange Angels by Lily St. Crow. Falling Under by Gwen Hates. The Reluctant Heiress by Eva Ibbotson. The Swan Maiden by Heather Tomlinson. Thirteen Reasons Why, a novel by Jay Asher. Austin Land by Shannon Hale. Someday, Someday, Maybe by Lauren Graham. Ruined by Paula Morris. Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour. The Castle Corona by David Diaz. Jellico Road by Melina Marchetta. The Green Fairy Book by Andrew Lang. The Yellow Fairy Book by Andrew Lang. The Darling by Russell Banks. House of Dark Shadows by Robert Leparula. The Thirteenth Tale by Diane... Setterfield. Magic Under Glass by Jacqueline Dollimore. Her Head by Meg Cabot. And the sequel, Being Nikki by Meg Cabot. Breadcrumbs by Anne Erzu. All Our Pretty Songs by Sarah McCary. The Summoning by Kelly Armstrong. 
The Awakening by Kelly Armstrong and The Reckoning by Kelly Armstrong. These are the three books of the Darkest Powers trilogy. Switched by Amanda Hawking. This is the first book in the Trills trilogy. Inkheart by Cornelia Funk and Ink Spell by Cornelia, Cornelia Funk. These are the first two books in the Inkheart trilogy. Exile by Anne Austerlund. This is a sequel to Aurelia, which I have already read and loved. Iron Skin by Tina Connolly. Jane by April Lidner. The Warrior Heir by Cinda Williams Chima. The Astonishing Adventures of Fanboy and Goth Girl by Barry Liga. Ash by Melinda Lowe. Sisters Red by Jackson Pierce. The Evolution of Capernia Tate by Jacqueline Kelly. The Time Traveler's Wife by Audrey Niffenager. Amber House by Kelly Moore, Tucker Reed, and Larkin Reed. Revolution by Jennifer Donnelly. Nightshade by Andrea Creamer. I Am Number Four by Pitticus Lore. Shadow Cry by Jenna Burtonshaw. Wings by Aperlin Pike. Stork by Wendy DeSole. He Needs So Beautiful by Suzanne Young. The Sound of Blue by Holly Payne. Raised by Wolves by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. Tempest by Julie Cross. Pretty Crooked by Susa Ludwig. Witch and Wizard by James Patterson. The Card Turner by Lewis Satcher. Darkness Becomes Her by Kelly Keaton. Gone and Fade. These are the last two books in the in the Wake trilogy by Lisa McMahon. Gateway by Sharon Shin. Eve and Adam by Michael Grant. The Finisher by David Balaki. Stealing Death by Janet Lee Carey. The Lonely Hearts Club by Elizabeth Yulberg. Take a Bow by Elizabeth Yulberg. Second to last shelf. Incarceration by Katherine Fisher. Sorry, this one doesn't have a dust jacket. The Ghosts of Ashbury High by Jacqueline Moriarty. Mistwood by Leah Sipis. And Night Spell by Leah Sipis. These are both um, companion novels to the same series. Possession by Ilana Johnson. The Bridesmaid by Haley Abbott. Eyes Like Stars by Lisa Manchev. The Fairy Ring by Kiki Hamilton. The Vespertine by Sandra Mitchell. Sorta Like a Rockstar by Matthew Quick. Give Me a Call by Sarah Milanowski. Sadie by Christopher Pike. Ashes of Twilight by Cassie Taylor. The Princetta by Anne Lott Bondu. The Weird Sisters by Eleanor Brown. An art copy of The Walled City by Ron Ryan Groden. This comes out... Oh, it came out in November of last year. Tear You Apart by Sarah Cross. This is the sequel to Kill Me Softly. And this is an arc. Relic by Renee Collins. Allegiance by Kayla Kluver. This is the second book in the Legacy Trilogy. Halo by Alexandra Ordonetto. Sove by Celia Reese. Wishful Thinking. A novel by Alexandra Bolin. The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon. Immortal by Gillian Shields. Bewitching by Alex Flynn. Fringe Girl by Valerie Frankel. And we are finally down to the very last shelf. It is a miracle. And this stack of most anticipated TBRs also. Leviathan by Scott Westerfeld. Dot to Dot by Kit Back. Thorn Abbey by Nancy Olin. The Book of Fairy Princes by Isabel Wyatt. What Happened to Goodbye by Sarah Dessen. This Lullaby by Sarah Dessen. That Summer by Sarah Dessen. The Truth About Forever by Sarah Dessen. Someone Like You by Sarah Dessen. Just to Listen by Sarah Dessen. And Lock and Key by Sarah Dessen. I know, I know, I need to read some of her books sometime soon. The Wrath and the Dawn by Renee Andy. This is a arc copy which comes out in May of this year. Midwinter Blood by Marcus Sedgwick. I just got this and I'm super excited to read it. Confessions of a Jane Austen Addict by Lori Vera Riggler. Hero Song by Edith Patu. An Arc of All Fall Down with a Sad Cover by Ali Carter. This comes out January 27th of this year. Evernight by Claudia Gray. A Curse Dark as Gold by Elizabeth C. Bunce. All in Grace by Mary Hooper. Love this cover. The Light Between Oceans by M. L. Stedman. So Close to You by Rachel Carter. The Beginning of After by Jennifer Cassidy. Never Cry Werewolf by Heather Davis. Vampire's Promise by Carolyn B. Cooney. It has three books in it. Deadly Offer, Evil Returns, and Fatal Bargain. This is another bind up of several books. It is the Dangerous Angels collection, the Weetsy Bats books by Francesca Lee Block. It includes the books. Wheatsy Bat, Witch Baby, Cherokee Bat and the Goat Guys, 
Missing Angel 1 and Baby Bebop books, 1 through 5. Guitar Notes by Mary Am Amato. Poison by Bridget Zinn. Exploits of a Re Reluctant but Extremely Good Looking Hero by Maureen Fergus. Tantalized by Cynthia Leach Smith. First Light by Rebecca Stead. The Girl Who Could Fly by Victoria Forrester. And now we have tons of my most anticipated reads here in this stack that I pulled out. Meant to Be by Lauren Morrill. The Winner's Curse by Marie Ratowski. The Knife of Never Letting Go by Patrick Ness. Chaos, the bo first book in the Chaos Walking trilogy. Frost Fire by Amanda Hawking. The first book in the Canaan Chronicles. Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. Lux Beginnings by L Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is a bind-up of the first two books of the Lux series, Obsidian and Onyx. Mr. Penumbra's 24-Hour Bookstore, a novel by Robin Sloan. An art copy of Winter Spell by Claire Legrand that came out in September of last year. Wonderstruck by Brian Selznick. Well, that's all my TBRs. I have quite a lot of them. I need to get busy reading because that is so many in... Some of those I'm not even sure if I still want to read, so if you guys have read any of those and don't think they're worth my time, let me know. If you've read any of them and you think I need to get to really soon, let me know also. Um, I'll put a total number here somewhere. It's quite a lot. It's an entire shelf full, so and that's my biggest shelf. So there's quite a lot of them I need to get back to reading, so I'll see you in my next video and read more books. Bye!